I must protect the one. Your soul shall be mine! My greetings. I greet you. <sighs> science has to be done. And yet it sucks to do science and then lose ranks. I consider it an investment. You lose some games, you'll learn some things about the deck. That's oh, fine. Pay attention, class. And yet I am so sad. Because I want that deck to be good. I want it to be good so much. Alright, I'm gonna take the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, the 1 and 8. This game is dumb if I discard mortal. Oh my gosh. Whoops. I will tap. Sorry, Buster. That was a mistake. My eyes are open. Okay. Cool. I drew another one. Card is very scary. Oh, hellfire. Alright, fine. And the news is it appears he has no solution to this guy. Well, he has no BGH in hand. Um, now the only question is whether or not he's got... Black Knight in hand. I think I hit him for 8. Actually, I could hit this and then heal, and then tap. Yeah, it seems better. Remove some threats. Since if this game goes to late game, I will win uh, pretty much 100% of the time. Like, if I get these two Molten Giants out and I taunt them, I don't think I can lose this game. Feels unlikely. Even if I get just one of them out. And then uh, taunt the two giants, that's pretty good. I could have tapped, but I don't think I need the card to win from here. I value the two health more than the card, I guess. Is that right? I'm not sure. Then again, if I tap, no, I can have the coin to play Molten and Defender the next turn. It's pretty good. As a bit of a closing statement on the warrior deck, uh, let's see. Today on the warrior, I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I played 9 games, I went 3 and 6. However, I still had a 52% win rate with warrior, which means 52% will drop you a lot in the legend side, which is kind of cruel. I am ready to Wow. That's quite a turn. A shame I discarded Hellfire to the other uh, Soulfire. Oh, dear. Now I do need the card. Um, but I'm behind a taunt, so. I wonder. Yeah. Okay, so I have um, some burst at the end here. Though I cannot play it next turn. Now stands 4-6 runs that. into this, so... No, 4-6 has to run into what? 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, this is 13. I got this. Yeah, alright, I feel comfortable. Uh, then he could have another, t like, Savage Roar. I think I should clear his stuff. I got this. Yeah. Right. 
I'm ready to learn. Time waits for no one. There's the safe play, and then there's the non-safe play here. So the theory is next turn, well not just the theory, the fact is next turn I can get 12 damage in on him. 2, 4, 8, ignore any uh, attempts to play Mountain Giant perhaps. Alright, I'm gonna go with this plan. So the next turn, if I get him to just 12, so that's 17, alright, this is worth the risk of not clearing one of these. I'd like to say this is plan. It was pretty close to the calculation. I just generally thought it might work, and it was in the ballpark of correct, but it turns out this is exact, somehow. On your miracle rogues today. Your soul shall be mine. I may want to coin tap since I have no place. Yeah, I'll do that. And it's pretty weak right now. And it has a Twilight Drake, which is nice, but I need to... I will ideally draw into something I can play on turn 3. And as stands, I am uh, going to be doing nothing on turn 3. Could just play a Sun Fury Protector for fun. It's not a great play, but it beats uh, doing nothing. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. I actually should have kept the coin for the toilet trick. It's been a while since I've played this deck. Shields up. Yeah, I do think it's a mistake to have coin tapped when I had the Twilight Drake in my hand. I wonder. The Brotherhood shall come in. Hmm. This is an interesting spot. I can basically... oh, it's not that interesting. Alright. Pardon me wanted to save the Shadow Flame for concealed gadgets and auctioneers, but that's too much. Alright, it just hit me to a range where I can play Molten Giant. Do I want to tap? I think I need to in order to possibly win. I could possibly lose by tapping. Um, 14, 11, it means I lose to Leroy's Shadow Step. Whereas if I just play this now and I don't tap, then uh, 13, that would mean he would need another card with the Leroy and the Shadow Step. 
Could you have those two cards out? No, that much. Possibly. It'll just be so much safer once I have these taunts up, though. Recklessly running this sword into me, it's just making me feel like he's got Leroy in his hand. I got the best deals anywhere. Okay. So it looks like my son Fury managed to save three days. It's alright. Not bad. Toss the owl out. Right now he's at uh, 22. If he stabs the owl, he'll be at 20, which is uh, lethal. Theoretically. Sweet. Wait, I did my math wrong. I was one mana short. 8, 14, 18. Okay, so I absolutely need to defend her Vargas. Might be interesting to Leroy... So many wait, 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 I, I didn't do my math wrong. 8, 14, 15, 16, 20. Fantastic. if I want to keep the SI despite having the uh, coin here. Now leave the auctioneer on the board last turn. Interesting. Like, as a target. That's not a bad idea. I mean, especially given how it down. That was pretty well. Where shall I strike? Next turn, I'd probably go Shiv Coin SI. My shield for Argon. Blood main Shiv now. Shiv the 2 3 and then uh, coin SI it. Yes, that'll have to do. Actually, Blood Mage and Shiv this could be alright. In for tough times, either way. I was more afraid of that turn of um, Keeper than Defender, but this is also tough. Where shall I strike? And that is okay. I'll be okay. Here we go. Ha, this guy's toast. I'll be okay for now. It's a good thing that was put in a bear form. Well, uh, you couldn't possibly Take perceive that happening, I suppose. Alright, um, I could sap that, but I need to develop the Gadzan at some point, and I think this would be the time. Hey, lights out. I guess the ideal would be drawn to the, uh, 
Oh, whoops. Hey, lights out. Preparation. Yeah. Oh. It's a miracle. Hallelujah. Heal. Wow. This guy doesn't like miracles. I'm probably going to want to heal myself a lot before his turn nine. <laughs> Time to pay. Hey, out. I have no time for games. Shields up. Does he think he's lost? Oh my gosh, he lost! <laughs> oh man. Wait, wait, did no he yes, he lost guaranteed. Uh, that's 18, 22, no matter which one he steals. Well played. That's gross. Hey, lights out. For him to think that he's lost, though, is super pessimistic on his side. Placed all four cards. It's a good sign for me. Actually, it might not be. But I mean, if he's zero, it's not a great hand either. The pleasure is mine. But hand lock. Yeah. The matchup. The next turn I play SI7 Agent, so I'll hold on to the uh, dagger, still. Sean Wright asks, in the current meta, would you recommend Strife Crow 8.4 or Ramp Druid? The version of Ramp Druid I have up right now is not very good, but perhaps I would recommend like the older school mm. Ramp Druid, or the, uh, the newer Ramp Druids, uh, as perhaps seen at DreamHack. Okay, well, three, six, eight. That's surprisingly good. It also means he cannot play a giant next turn, which is nice. That was about as good of an answer as I could have gotten. Wait, is it true he can't? No, he can't. That's right. Hey, lights out. You are the weakest lich. Goodbye. Oh, oh man. I got the best deals anyway. Uh, okay. This actually might not be great. With that big a hand and no plays, the chance of Ancient Watcher Shadow Flame goes up. And is his dream answer right now. Shields up. Prep sap to get started. Hopefully I draw. Hmm. 
play the other gadget? No, that's insane. All right, four, 10, 14, 17, 19, oh wait, 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 four, six, eight, no, 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 no. Four, six, seven, that's uh, four, seven, 11, 13, 19, oh my gosh. Um, start with the blood mage and to eviscerate him. That puts him at a, uh, oh my gosh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? There's a debate between Shadow Flame and that. Okay. Wait, did I win? Okay, so uh, it's uh, six, and then Blade Flare puts down a three to play the SI seven. Here okay. we go. I didn't win this turn, but it's looking good. Did I lose? No. There's no way. He only has eight mana. My shield for Argon. Okay, I am short on lethal at the moment still. That's uh three five nine. Well, we'll play Edwin Van Cleef, it seems. I could do the Fana knives. Puts that to seven, I hit him for two. Alright. No, no, better is Edwin Van Cleef. A six six? And discard a Shadow Flame. No, better to have a two two. <laughs> well played. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this hand. Oh boy. Come on, get yeah, just hand. This hand is pretty much praise gadgets in. 
Where shall I strike? <laughs> Gadzan, please bless me with your presence on this day. My eyes are open. I beseech thee. Where shall I strike? Oh. It's here! It's here! Yeah, right, there's a lot of damage coming in, but they must get this started. I should save the Blood Mage Deadly Prep Blade Flurry for next turn. Alright, take some damage this turn. But hopefully, once the dust has settled, it'll take six damage, and all will be good. Top shot should just come here. Once he sees the blood mage. My goal is for his heart to drop. Okay. I'm gonna shiv his face. Maybe I eviscerate his face. Do I have enough damage? No, I need to draw still. Maybe I should double cold blooded. Take heart. The Earth Mother is here. Does Dingo? Oh my gosh, no answer. Oh, the dream is real. Eight, nine, uh, three, two. Oh. 